So how should you be dealing with anxiety? Well, very simply, what you should be doing is addressing the subconscious anxious mechanism that causes your anxiety in order to completely eliminate the reaction in your subconscious mind so that you can become completely anxiety free. Now, how do you do this? Well, first of all, let me explain how the anxiety is built in your subconscious mind, and that will give you an insight uh, then into understanding how we can get rid of that, um, that behavior. Anxiety, inappropriate anxiety, is caused when the amygdala, the small organ in the brain that is responsible for the anxious response, in other, in other words, the anxiety control center, um, becomes reset at, the, at a higher level of anxiety than is appropriate. And when you're born, you have a preset level of anxiety. But when anxiety disorders develop, that anxiety level is increased and becomes your new preset. Now, how does this happen? Well, this happens very simply by some catalyst, an anxious catalyst, maybe stress or a bereavement or, or whatever, causing your anxiety level to move higher. And once that happens, your subconscious mind then, then makes the decision as to whether that new high level of anxiety is appropriate or not. But as soon as that level becomes high, you start to experience symptoms and sensations and thoughts associated with high anxiety, and that causes fear. That fear is fed back to the amygdala. The amygdala reads that as a threat, sends out more anxiety to cope with that threat. This produces more symptoms, which produces more thoughts and, and sensations, which produces anxiety, and so on. And so an anxious cycle is created. The key to overcoming this anxiety is to cure yourself, to remove the subconscious anxious behaviours that cause this anxiety. This is the natural approach. This is the only solution to anxiety disorders. But how do we do that? Well, what we have to do is convince the amygdala, the anxiety control centre, that you are entirely safe, that there is nothing in your environment that poses any kind of threat or risk to you. So when it sends out those what-if questions, that are so searching and can be so invasive, um, things like, what if I pass out? What if I die? What if I pick up this knife? What if I harm this person? What if I do this to this person? All of these thoughts are completely appropriate in the anxiety response because they're designed to do a risk assessment of your environment. They feel wrong, they seem so wrong, and they can be so distressing, but they're entirely appropriate if you have a high anxiety. But what we do is we provide those thoughts with food, we create an environment for change, an environment for recovery, and we can show you how to do this in a very structured way, that when your sensory organs, your eyes, your ears, your nose and your mouth and your skin feed back to your amygdala, the data it needs to make a decision about your anxiety levels, it receives data that makes it reset to a normal level of anxiety. And this can be done very, very quickly. I did it in my recovery, and I've since shown tens of thousands of people around the world to do the exact same thing. And my psychologists and my team of counsellors are there to help you to do this whenever you need their support. And it can be done very quickly. In fact, I've had people do this in hours, not days, hours, and make a full recovery. And this is why uh, health organisations, psychologists, doctors, psychiatrists, and mental health practitioners from around the world recommend the Linda Method programme. Because it provides a curative device. It will cure you. I hope you give us the opportunity to show you how we can cure you of your anxiety disorder and how you can overcome your anxiety permanently. Thanks for your time.